Hello guys and welcome to my Mazda RX-8 channel. In today's video, I wanna do some dyno runs with my Mazda RX-8. You might be wondering, how am I gonna do that? Will I go to the dyno? Well, I actually pick up this VP16 uh, type of unit uh, from the website that's called volochip.com. And this says that it can do dyno, also it could do some performance tuning and some other things. Mainly I got it for the dyno because if you're gonna be adding some parts to your Mazda RX-8, then you kind of want to know if it's even doing anything. Um, so at this point, the only real modifications I have on it is just got a mid pipe. So I want to just put a stock type of tune on it with this and do some test runs, see what kind of zero to 60 numbers I have and see if it even gives me the um, horsepower numbers. That would be really interesting to see. So let's go ahead and actually unbox this really quick plug it in and see what it can do. So guys, let's go ahead and actually open this thing right up. By the way, if you guys are looking for something like this, I'm gonna put a link on it in the description below because I actually found them on Amazon. Um, because before I just found it on eBay and I went ahead to, you know, went to their website and uh, found this company. And it looked to me like it's a pretty nice little unit because they said you could actually use this on multiple type of cars, which is good. But when you actually order one, they ask what kind of car you have. So they preload the tune for your car on here. If you want to change the tune, you could do that. Um, you just need a basically a computer, laptop, something uh, to plug it in and basically go. Uh, okay, interesting. So I want to, I wonder if I could put this somewhere that's out of sight or the mind. Maybe I'll just put it kind of like low over here. We'll see. Okay, go ahead and actually remove this protective film gonna plug this in so there's an auxiliary port which is interesting so we have the OBD2 port right here so I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in but I've seen it in action before so I think it's gonna be pretty easy to actually find um, find all the things to actually uh, all the options So I'll just kind of tell you what it does and we'll go from there. So let's see, setup required. It says tune complete, so we're just gonna hit okay. Uh, by the way, I did figure this out. This is kind of interesting that you actually plug in your micro USB this way and I never seen it plug in in the front like that. So that's actually for you know, uploading tunes and stuff. So let's see, um, new dyno, uh, let's see, select second gear, it's ready. So it actually looks like it's working. Um, interesting. That I'll have to actually take it to the computer and actually set it up. So I'll just drive right now. So it is reading how many miles I'm driving. So I actually uh, did upload like a performance tune. Uh, well, I'm not sure if it's a performance one or you know whatever, but I just got something uploaded for it to work. So <clears throat> basically, it was already doing a dyno when I actually uh, had that thing set up, not just the gauges. So like now it went over here. So it's showing me 36 horsepower. 94 foot pounds of torque that's it like that's what it showed me so something is apparently working because i was uh, uh i was driving really slow so let's see let's go back let's see new dyno select second gear it says i don't know why it's a second gear let's see confirm that the area is clear safe we can run okay 
So let's go ahead and go. giving me 197 horsepower so that's kind of interesting one more here this is actually at an incline so put into stick shift mode hit ready so I kind of shifted early just so it doesn't mess up this time. Yeah, what is the numbers? 195 horsepower. So it actually says at 5,200 RPMs, which ain't bad. So I think it's actually measuring the, you know the speed and the horsepower at second gear which would be the optimum rpms for this car um and i think that's where actually it's getting these numbers from so interesting now let's do another one let's go back to dyno okay this time i'm going to try to redline it i'm just shifting it seven came back with 222 horsepower and that's quite cool and it said that it's at 7188 rpms so according to this one at 7500 rpms it's 212 and mine's producing 222 horsepower so i'm doing really 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 well but considering i do have um you know i don't have any restricted airflow because i have a mid pipe still have the original stock muffler I know what you might be thinking uh, this can be as real as a real dyno and stuff like that and you might be right but it's the next best thing it's a lot better than me trying to time myself using my iPhone's um, stopwatch so this actually gives me some nice readings and I'll give you guys some close-ups of this um, as soon as I get a chance um, I'm also gonna try to zoom in on it on, on the video but uh, I wanna test now zero to 60, see if it even has this. I think it does. I'm gonna try to find this function. Engine light codes, and I went into tuning mode, and it says proceed with tune. Tuning is not, not recommended when codes are present. So the code I have is an O2 sensor, because obviously um, it's picking up, I got a mid pipe. So I selected yes, I'm just gonna go to next. So it's got a sport eco mix factory. So we're just gonna put sport uh, let's see gasoline 91 yes uh, do you tow or haul never have you changed tire size no have you changed gearing no improved airflow uh, let's see high flow air filter high flow intake I haven't done these things yet but I'm curious to find out once I do them will it actually give me more performance as I'm gonna be trying to uh, dyno it so it says headers, downpipe. Uh, I guess we could just do downpipe. Full exhaust system, it says. Uh, test pipe. Uh, so I'm just gonna do next. Uh, spark plugs. I, I haven't changed them yet, so I'm just gonna leave them alone. Pulse amplifier, uh, variable tuning optimizer, HV and HHO. Okay, it says uh, calibration check. So preparing for the tune so it's uploading something so I'm kind of curious to see what's it going to do I wonder if I could even oh vehicle moved look at that it knows uh, so I'm just gonna put restart to start that I guess so somewhat this thing is kind of legit because I was looking at getting like cob units guys but I've got one and that turns out it was a Mary type of unit which was kind of useless um, and you have to kind of like unmarry and stuff like that it's a pretty big headache um, so I try to look for an appropriate type of tuner at least that it can you know give me some you know type of stuff and uh, 
I'm really lucky that I actually found this type of tuner, guys, because this you could take from any car and you could just install it and just upload a new tune on it and you're good to go. So I will be testing it like more and more just to find out how it is. But if you guys are interested in just, you know, reading up about it or whatever, check out the links in the description below and uh, you'll see for yourself. This is not just Mazda RX-8 specific. But when you are ordering from the website, you need to tell them what kind of car you're ordering it for. So they could actually upload the tune for it. So that's kind of cool. So if you have one, of course, already uploaded with the tune, uh, since it needs to be plugged in into the car in order for it to work, they allow you to change the tune for like a different type of car. So if you bought a newer type of car or, you know, like newer year or like total different car, you could just take this out and stick it into another car and it's gonna work all you got to do is just upload a new tune you know using the provided um, USB stick for your micro uh, SD card and you're good to go so looks like the tune was uploaded so let's just go ahead and hit OK and we're just gonna go to gate uh, to dyno uh, so for now I'm just gonna test the automatic mode because this one was showing me I think like 192 horsepower so I'm curious to know what's it gonna do this time. So I need to go over some speed bumps and try this again. So let's see here. So I'm just gonna stop right here. I'm just gonna hit, go ahead and hit ready. And let's go. actually came back with the numbers already it's like well, the interesting thing about it is I don't need to speed this up like to 60 miles an hour I can just basically get the numbers as soon as I reach the appropriate rpms that's it it gives me the readings so here's the readings 202 horsepower which is higher for the automatic than it was previously and 206 foot-pounds of torque so what I'm gonna try to do this right now, I'm gonna go ahead and actually back out of it. I'm gonna put it into stick shift mode or pedal shift mode rather. And let's just go ahead and go at it. And I'm gonna catch it at 7,500 RPMs. Yeah, uh, let's see, it went to 229 horsepower at that time. Looks like you don't really want to shift good when you reach uh, 7,500 RPMs. I'm going to try to do this again. So I need to downshift it. Go ahead, I'll go ahead and see it back. New dyno, ready. Okay, let's go. Oh, well, still won't shift. So it looks like I need to do it slightly below. Well, I detected it's at 7,588 RPMs, uh, 225 horsepower. So let's see, let's go ahead and actually back out. New dyno, ready. horsepower at that time kind of interesting so I'm curious to know once I do put a like a nicer air filter on it and of course do spark plugs and uh, ignition coils uh, plus I'm gonna go out and actually put like a muffler in the back um, I also bought um, an oil catch can which I think is kind of like a must uh, for this car because when you overfill it slightly with oil uh, it's actually going to go straight in, into your oil filter which is not good um, so I'm going to be installing that and actually making a video about it uh, and also I bought an electric supercharger that you basically put inside of the intake air pipe so I'm just, you know, I don't know if it's gonna do much, but I think it's gonna do something. 
um, even if it adds like you know five to ten horsepower I'll be pretty happy so that would be an interesting type of thing to test um, I do have it in already everything came in I just need to basically install it so I was waiting for this unit to come in just to see if adding any of these functionalities actually improves anything and apparently it does so let's actually go ahead and uh, back out of it and we're gonna test uh, just the automatic type of tune we'll wait for these cars to pass good thing is I just need to get it high enough to the RPMs. I don't really need to speed which is which is a good thing and there it is we have the tune uh, what is this 215 200 215 horsepower 179 foot pounds of torque so close enough it says here uh, 159 foot-pounds of torque and I'm getting uh, 179 foot-pounds of torque so not bad not bad I mean for 128,000 miles on this thing I think it's uh it's pretty good numbers um, I need to really take a closer look at this thing and pull over and just really you know just do some research and find out what is the zero to 60 because I think it does have that here I just need to find it hey guys my uh, GoPro battery has died so I actually want to show you this this is kind of cool um, there's different gauges that you could actually select and as you could see my fuel economy is showing average 13.8 which is actually correct I actually measured my fuel economy it was right around like 14 miles per gallon so it's also showing the horsepower it's showing the torque it's showing the battery voltage which is great i'm actually not driving anywhere this is why it's showing like this but it was showing like like 13.9 showing my coolant temperature i just started up my car so i could actually go back uh and view performance um i did do uh zero to 60 so it actually does remember my uh recent zero to 60 was nine nine point one zero to sixty which is uh, okay it's uh you know it's old car so you could imagine it's not going to be you know top top performance you could also do a drag strip type of thing I haven't tried that yet um i also uh, i did do the dyno and there's a dyno compare so i had like uh that was <clears throat> let me see how do you go back uh okay right here next so th that was my first run this is my second run 197 horsepower it gave me and then it gave me 91 horsepower which i kind of messed up on that one actually i could actually kind of delete this i really don't want it let's see go back i could delete the 36 horsepower that way it doesn't mess me up so 197 195 222 horsepower this is after i actually uh done the tune uh, it started giving me like slightly a little bit more then depending how I accelerated I got even more like 229 horsepower because I was actually shifting uh, using my pedal shifters as you could see I was shifting at 7437 rpms 225 horsepower there 218 horsepower 215 so the horsepower that it's actually showing me um, I do have like a downpipe uh well not a down pipe a mid pipe so there's no cat restriction so it's going to be slightly more horsepower i guess but the cool thing is i'll be able to actually you know tune it because right now as you could tell like the way it's actually running somewhat of a kind of like uh off i guess uh like it's it's not misfiring but i'm pretty sure it would be nice to actually replace uh uh, replace the spark plugs and uh, replace the ignition coils that's definitely gonna help it uh, the air filter hasn't been replaced I actually got a high flowing uh, air filter and uh, some other things I also bought an electronic supercharger which I heard they don't work but it will be kind of interesting to be able to just you know install it and see what it's gonna do I'll actually be able to measure the horsepower before and after and same thing for the zero to 60s it will be interesting to see if that does help uh, and of course um, it will save you guys some money um, if it doesn't work.